All right, DC 5000, one, two, three. I'm hoping you're watching because of uh, I have this uh, Briggs and Stratton uh, 16 horse, and uh, I'm trying to mount a uh, fuel pump on it. And uh, something that's just you know aching me is where to mount the impulse fitting. I know you've done a lot of work on these, but. Um, I have an impulse fitting here, and uh, of course I'm just going to clean it all up though, but um, uh, I see a lot of people mount these on the block, but they usually do that when the block is all apart, and I don't want to take this engine apart, I mean it has a bit of valve issues, but you know that's fixable, but I mean it's fixable without tearing the whole machine apart. Now. Um, I have been thinking, you know, maybe out it on the mounted on the air box, you know, to where it's all tucked in nice and neat. But the only way it would work is if I made like a plate to where it would restrict it to having to suck a lot of air, you know, impulse through there. But that would start choking out the engine and the other way it would only work is if the engine was at you know the full throttle side so and the other decision I've made is there's this little piece on the intake right there and I was thinking maybe drill a hole in there and push this up in there and run my line to my fuel pump through there you know I'm and you've done a lot of these work, work on Briggs's, I mean like five horse and all that, and you've done a lot of fuel pumps on them. And, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, consult someone who's done a lot of this work before, before I just go and do something that I wind up having to replace a big part on, I wind up spending a lot of money. So, yeah, but this is going to be a racing lawnmower. Um, that's not going to be the front end. <laughs> I'm in fact going to probably do a custom exhaust and, you know, maybe just redo how the exhaust is mounted all together, you know, some of that nice stuff. Maybe add a header on it, you know, that sticks her down. I mean, it's, it's a work in progress, but just trying to find some way to mount this whole thing a lot easier. Uh, I mean, you've done this on work a lot easier before because, and the only reason I want to mount a, a fuel pump on it well one is to ensure that I have constant fuel supply to my carburetor and it's also because my gas tank that I'm gonna throw on here the fitting of it doesn't come out till about right where my finger is and that's below the carb even if I am on a slant you know it will barely feed my carb so <clears throat> thought I'd just make this a video you know showing you what I have and what I have to Ugh, work with and I mean if I ever you know need to like put this engine on something else I can just add like a shut off valve in my impulse line it's no big deal but that's what I have to work with I'd really appreciate it if you maybe commented give me a tip alright thank you